The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you find this video and podcast helpful. If you need some help, please feel free to call us at 515-207-2006. We offer free consultations in many areas of law, and we have several geographic locations for your convenience. We serve all of Iowa. We're also happy to meet with you and provide most legal services virtually without requiring you to leave your home. Enjoy the video. Hello everyone, this is Matt with Learn About Law. And in this video, I'm going to discuss Iowa divorce frequently asked questions. Divorce in Iowa is officially known as dissolution of marriage, which is a legal term for divorce. The petitioner is the individual who initiates the divorce process. The respondent is the other spouse. What are the legal grounds for divorcing your spouse? The state of Iowa recognizes no-fault divorce, which allows a marriage to be dissolved when there is proof of a breakdown in the marital relationship with no hope of reconciliation. The petitioner is under no need to hold the other spouse responsible for any specific infraction or wrongdoing. Is there a residency requirement or a waiting period for getting a divorce in Iowa? If the respondent is a resident of Iowa and is physically served with a dissolution of marriage papers, there is no residency requirement. Otherwise, the petitioner would have to have had to stay in Iowa for a year. Iowa law requires a 90-day waiting time from the date the respondent is served with the dissolution of marriage papers before the court can enter a final decision. In some instances, the court may waive the waiting period. What will become of our possessions? Iowa is a state where equitable distribution is a reality. The court will divide all of the spouse's property, whether required before or after the marriage, with the exception of any gifts or inheritances received before or during the marriage. A portion of the inheritance may be set aside for the maintenance, upkeep, and education of any minor children. There is no investigation into marital blame. Each spouse's contribution to the acquisition of marital property the value of any property brought into the marriage, the length of the marriage, and the age and physical and emotional health of the spouses are all factors in any property allocation. Thanks for watching. To learn more, check out our article linked below. Be sure to leave any questions you have in the comments and subscribe for more legal content daily. Hello again, this is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you enjoyed this video and podcast. If you did, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. If you need legal help in this or any other area of law, please do not hesitate to reach out and schedule a consultation. Most consultations are free and all can be conducted remotely if you'd like. Please email us, book online, or call us at 515-207-2006. We have many locations for your convenience. We serve all of Iowa. Thank you again for watching.